let's try and get back on track here guys uh this model here i am liking it quite a bit it's it's practically done i've i've assembled all the parts i think um it was very easy to put together uh i would liken it to something like the entry grade model kits that bandai have have made um very easy to put together and also the instructions the the manner in which the instructions sort of tell you where to take like what parts to take from the sprue what parts to take from the frame like this uh, it, sound, it looks like a bunch of it looks like a mess right here but um yes this is uh very very nice i like how they've done that so it's a very nice building experience this model kit i mean it was fairly inexpensive so I'm not really expecting like a massive, massive kit. I'm not really expecting a bunch of parts. So it is, it does kind of fall in line with 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 what I think is a fair price for for the complexity and the size of the kit. That being said, it is it is a little slight. It is a little. Uh, it isn't very bulky, right? Compared to something like uh, the other 30 minute missions kits or even something like the frame arm models. It's roughly kind of like one one forty fourth scale. And because it has a bit more of a feminine kind of shape, a feminine kind of outline, um, uh, that kind of does suggest or, or that does kind of make it have this kind of narrow and, and slight frame. Do you know what I'm saying? It's not like this bulky, boxy thing. Um, that being said, I, I, I still would like to I still would like for it to be a bit more bulky in some way. I, I still would kind of like it to have a bit more mass, uh, particularly around the hips, something like this. Um, so that's something that I want to see. That's what, uh, something I want to try and figure out is to is how to, well, as parts start falling off, how do, how do we kind of give it a bit more mass? I want to try and experiment with that. And the other thing that I'm kind of getting used to with this model, the other thing that I, because, because I'm kind of coming back to this hobby after, after half a year, or it's been pr approximately half a year, a year, a few months since I've kind of come back to this hobby, I'm not used to uh, these poly caps. I've built a number of kits that do not use poly caps. Um, but this kit does use polycaps and I don't know. What do you guys feel about polycaps? I don't know. I think I, I kind of don't love them, but I guess it's a bit of a necessity for some model kits. This is the first model kit I've built since coming back to the hobby that, uh, uses polycaps and yeah, I'm not really super, super in love with it. So, but aside from those, those complaints, I really enjoy the model or critiques. I really enjoy um, the posing of this model, the flexibility, like the, the leg can really go all the way like this, which I think is really cool, right? And yeah, it's, it's quite posable, which is nice. I like it. Bacon, I just realized I typed something by accident. <laughs> I certainly can live without the polycaps. Yeah. It, yeah, it's quite posable as you can see. There's quite a lot of kind of fun poses you can get into with this model. But I'm really, really looking forward to thinking about how we can then kind of customize this and do something unique and I <laughs> I haven't gotten that far. I don't mm, I don't really know what I'm going to do. I just know that I want to do something with this model. And we've got we've they've included some extra clips. But I have to figure out how I want say for example if I want these wing bits to kind of hang off the side like this, I need to figure out like how to get the right connections going. Because maybe there are some existing parts within this that I can kind of repurpose for that, just to see. But yeah, I was saying how this is kind of like Bionicles, kind of like Bonkles, 
Get one off to work. Always good talking about. Okay. <laughs> Look at the user steam. All right, Kent one. Thanks for stopping by. I'll catch you later. Have a good day at work. Yes. It happens. It happens from time to time. I'm gonna try and not make a habit out of it though. So okay, I can show you guys something else. Um, I have this. This is a. Um, this is from Kotobukiya's Modeling Supply Goods, the MSG line of, of accessories. Um, it's pretty cool. It's a gun situation. Well, it, it's a gun just like this, and you can like attach a handle to it with this extra part here, right? Something like that. And then you can mount sort of on the underside of it a chainsaw or you can uh, mount on the underside uh, one of these things, which I, there you go, like a blade, like a like a huge bayonet, which is really cool. Or you can alternatively have your 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 figure, your character hold a weapon simply just like this, like a chainsaw like that. I use those MSG parts on the made buttons. So, oh, really, uh, Eddie? Very cool. That's a great. Uh, that's a great usage of them. I'll have to take a look again. I guess. I guess that's a good thing, though. Like, like it, it's when you're kind of customizing a model, you kind of never want it to be uh, like super overtly noticeable that you've gone in and slapped on a bunch of parts. I think I like it when a model that's been customized almost looks like something that you could buy. Do you know what I mean? Like it's very subtle when additions have been made, um, and so and so I'd like to see uh, and take a look again at the at the made to see those buttons because I I didn't even think about that that you uh, had used uh, those MSG parts, but that's really cool. Of course, in your case, you've made the whole made thing with the apron and, and all of that and the and the the thing on the hat, um, which clearly is. In addition, but you know what I mean, like other kind of customizations where, where they've gone in and added a bunch of stuff to it, and it just looks like, it just literally looks like someone has just added a bunch of stuff to it. The ooh ooh buttons, ooh ooh. Okay, so yeah, there is Spinatia fencer type, and the plan is, the plan is to then combine it with this the 30 minute sister Lelouse in some fashion I don't really know how I'm going to do that but I kind of just want to try it out and see and you know maybe we'll have to kind of go in and, and purchase some other parts but that's sort of the plan for now and yeah so we're looking we're looking at the at the parts yeah I, I think I want to try and put these on the leg I want to put this on the hip in some way, rather than how it is presently, um, and try and bulk out the hips. That's that's sort of like the plan, and I don't really know how I'm going to do that. I want to do it in a way in which like we're using the clips, we're using the pegs to kind of attach and detach it so we can always kind of go back and take it back. I don't really want to go in and glue anything, at least not not right now. I'm trying to figure out how the hip part on my kid bash, uh, not a fan, that's an idea. Yeah, something like this could be a thing, right? Kind of makes it feel like it's flying. Kind of like a squirt, a skirt, 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 skirt. Um, yes. Well, they were here originally. Let's put it where they want us to put it. This is the official configuration. Just like this. That's <laughs> great. So how is Gundam SD Battle going for everyone? The most popular game in the... In the, uh... uh the Gunpla building cinematic universe. Everyone's playing it. How are you guys liking it? Are you guys excited about, um, is it called Battle Evolution? You guys excited about that one? I'm kind of, kind of want to try that one when that comes out. 
this is how they want us to configure it right now straight out the box but yeah there's I want to look at my options and see how else I can bulk it out well, that's pretty neat so okay okay guys we've been streaming for an hour and 23 it's a Monday for God's sakes please be kind please be kind rewind and I am not really sure what I'm going to be doing next but we can probably set this aside for now and uh, look at some other stuff oh maybe we can maybe we can put some of these bits on the side maybe I don't know I, I want to play around with this more I mean there isn't too many alternative configurations and parts but I want to just see what else you can do with it. Okay, we can try this. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh! Actually, there might be something in the uh, instruction, in the instruction manual. Let's see. Oh, okay, yeah, there's something here. Customize. Once the machine is finished, try customizing it. The 30-minute mission series can be easily customized. Level 1. Exchange parts using the included parts. Oh yeah, so in the picture here, they've kind of shown that you can have like one really bulky shoulder. And then maybe put like the armor part that was intended for the back. You can kind of put it on the shoulder there. That looks really cool. Again, you're just, you're just trying to think about how to... How to make this model look a bit more unique, a bit more customized, and that's pretty cool right there. And then here's level two, upgrade unit using parts from other items sold separately. Buy more stuff. In other words, buy more things. And then you can have this thing, which does admittedly does look very cool. This is option set part five, multi-wing and multi-booster. And that's really cool. I don't know if that's something I would want to do personally, but that's really cool. And the helmet looks really neat too, actually. Very, very cool. And then it says level three, customize and create your own unit. The custom theme, flying assault type stealth unit, a special purpose unit designed primarily for aerial assault. It was developed to mislead the enemy into believing it was a friendly unit by using parts and modules of captured aircraft. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so then you would then buy another kit here. That's the Alto, the Alto flight type Navy, which I have seen um, on some websites and on my local stores. I've seen that, and you can make this. That's pretty cool. So yeah, that's there's a lot that you can do to have fun with, and it's very very tempting to kind of like just buy a bunch more stuff and add more onto it, just because it's. On a per kit basis, they're fairly inexpensive. This was like 25 Canadian, 26 Canadian. Yeah, it wasn't wasn't really breaking the bank with this, and so and so yeah, it's very tempting to just get get more, buy more, buy more stuff, and and see what you can do with it. If you can try and kind of take it to the next level and and, and do more. So that's. I'm, I'm gonna do my research and I'm gonna pick up some stuff at some point in time but for now we can set this aside and try and uh, look at some other stuff let's just put all these important parts off to the side here I have a little tray a little tray for uh, extra parts we've got this weapon yes I was saying earlier I bought this thing uh, quite a while back this sort of sword slash gun weapon kit from the Kotobukiya line but unfortunately oh shit you guys hear that <laughs> that always amuses me I'm, I'm very easily amused if, if you guys couldn't tell already but Yes, this doesn't actually fit. The handle here does not fit inside of the inside of the the hand for this uh, thirty minute missions kit. It doesn't fit. Car me choo choo. <laughs> yeah. So if you wanted to buy any thirty minute mission, sorry, any Kotobukiya modeling supply good 
stuff um, with the intent of making it work with a 30 minute missions model you would have to file it down yeah Ashford. right 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 basically yeah you would have to go in and do a bit of extra work to make it to make it fit which isn't which isn't the worst thing in the world right like it's not a, it's not that big of a deal uh, to do that so I, I very well might do that if indeed I want to give this model a chainsaw because I, I bought these some time ago I just haven't really found a good usage for it I haven't really uh, haven't really found an opportunity to use it for anything but yeah 